Good evening. No apologies and no price cut offered today from the woman in the middle of a growing firestorm over the soaring cost of potentially life-saving EpiPens, up some 400 percent in recent years. The CEO of the company that makes them spoke out today on our sister network, CNBC, to defend a series of price hikes on the emergency injectors that millions with serious allergies keep at the ready. But with her own salary under fire, the company did offer consumers some relief today. But even that is being met with some skepticism tonight. NBC's Tom Costello has been following the story for us and has the latest. She may be the most unpopular CEO in America today on the CNBC hot seat. Heather Bresch runs Mylan Pharmaceuticals, which has raised the price for its life-saving EpiPen from $90 to $600 over 10 years. Meanwhile, her compensation has also skyrocketed. You're making $18 million a year. You understand how that looks. Brian, look, I understand better than anyone that facts are inconvenient to headlines. After days of intense public backlash, the company today said it's offering more discounts and $300 coupons for some patients, but no price cut. Just cancel the price increase. Why can't you do that? I have to play. The, the, the reality is in the brand pharmaceutical market, this isn't an EpiPen issue. This isn't a myelin issue. This is a health care issue. Brash calls the health care system broken, with too many middlemen demanding a cut. But some health care experts today said that without a price cut, the company's coupons are just a PR move since the cost only shifts to insurance companies. What that does is that just ends up increasing costs to the system, which is then reflected in the high costs in, in increasing premiums. Um, and an overall increase in health care spending. In North Carolina, Tracy Bush has the receipts of skyrocketing EpiPen prices her insurance thankfully paid for her son, Devin. Plain and simply, if the price of the EpiPen was affordable to begin with, it would not matter if someone had insurance or not. It would be affordable. Meanwhile, on Instagram, actress Sarah Jessica Parker, who had promoted EpiPens because her own son needs one, today cut ties with the company. Given the firestorm, Heather, around this, mm -hmm. are, are the price hikes for Milan done? Look, we are going to continue to run a business, and we're going to continue to meet the supply and demand of what's out there. Bresh is the daughter of West Virginia Senator Democrat Joe Manchin. Today, he issued a statement saying he is also concerned about skyrocketing drug, drug prices, and he wants to find ways to lower them and improve the system as well. Lester. All right, Tom Costello, thank you. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.